Hey, so what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and I love these long box PS1 games. I do. I collect them a bit. I've kind of started a collection on here. And one thing that collectors will have issues with is stickers and such on games or condition. As you can see, this copy of Siberia is not in the best shape. And if we open it up, there's also something else ugly on the disc itself. As you can see, the disc right here has this sticker all over it that claims it is property of Hollywood Video. Now, many video rental shops, at least in the US and many other places, would normally slap these stickers on cartridges, discs, anything like that. And the unfortunate thing with this sticker is not only it looks ugly, but if you try to remove it, you can actually damage the disc itself because the layer of data is right here because it is, you know, it's pretty much kind of wedged between the label and the back side. Like the back side here, if you scratch it up, you can resurface it, it's fine. This side, if you scratch up the label bad enough, you will not be able to play the game ever because that data will be gone. And what that sticker can do effectively is remove that. And as you can see this one has not even been put on really that well but essentially a lot of rental stores would do that so that would deter people from renting a game with a temporary account and then reselling it and other places would know about that but these rental stores would also sell off games when they had too many when they weren't getting rid of out as much anything like that now I'm gonna show you all this. You can get rid of the sticker, but I also had another game right here, Assault Rigs, that had the exact same issue. And as you can see, check that out. That looks quite clean, doesn't it? And it even looks a little bit shiny because the sticker is actually still on there. The sticker's not that bad, honestly, because actually that adds another protective layer to the disc. So in the long run, it actually does help preserve your game. But I'm gonna be showing you all how you can get rid of all that stuff. Now, this works with a few different stickers. For Hollywood Video, you can do it. For some other places, you can. From Blockbuster, I've been told you can't because Blockbuster actually puts their logos underneath the label, but this is worth a try. So what we're gonna do is, as I said, I'm gonna show you all the comparison right here. Now, as you can see, that is the disc with the label. That's the disc with the label that has been cleaned up. And we just need two things, honestly. We need some isopurple alcohol or rubbing alcohol. Now, I'm gonna be using 99% isopurple alcohol, and you're going to need a paper towel or a tissue, anything like that. So what I'm gonna do first off is I'm gonna put some of the alcohol right here. Just dab it on there a little bit. And then all you need to do is take the disc, hold it gently, take the alcohol, and just start rubbing away at the logo. Now, as you can see, the logo is gone, and thanks to the power of science, a lot of that text has been removed as well, too. What we can do since we're here as well, we might as well clean off the rest of the logo so you no longer have any text on it. Now, as you can see, if you look at that, there's actually no trace of the original text or the logo anywhere aside from that sticker. So you just saw a before and after. Now, even what you can do while you're here, you can go ahead. I mean, as you can see, that's quite black right there. So what we can do is we can, if we want to just go the other side, dab a little bit more alcohol and just kind of do a once over and clean the top of the disc right here. So the label will be all nice and shiny and everything. So we can go ahead, kind of do once over there. And once we get all that done, as you can see, it's going to dry up here, but it looks all nice and now. Now, as you can see, the label is still there and it still has the bubbles on it, but honestly, this is the nicest we're going to get this disc. So that's about it. Now, again, as I said, if you have any games in your collection that have that logo and they are disc based, all you need to do is you just need to take a paper towel, some isopurple alcohol, or rubbing alcohol, and that's it. Some people might ask about Goo Gone. No, do not use Goo Gone on discs at all. Just horrible idea. Don't do it. It's oily, it's greasy, all that stuff. It's not designed for discs it's not designed for these stickers and actually what can happen is the Gugon can get between the label of the disc and the sticker right there and cause permanent damage again so you don't want to do that the only other substitute I would honestly feel safe using aside from any type of alcohol would be Windex and that would be about it and the reason why I feel safe doing that is because when I worked at the game shop we actually used Windex to clean the top of the discs whenever we resurface them so yeah anyways you saw the before and after on here hopefully you are a believer and you can try that out on some of your retro games you have in your collection. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone.